In the world of high-end skin collectors, there are many famous names. HFB, Stack, Luna, but one guy who gets remarkably little attention is a man by the name of Newbrage. Now, compared to these other guys, Newbrage doesn't have a particularly big inventory, quite the opposite, but what he does have is a little ditty known as the factory new 387 pattern Crambit Case Hearted, aka the most valuable skin in CSGO. This skin has a near mythical status, largely due to New Brage's incredibly secretive behavior, and this has meant that despite CSGO skin prices going crazy over the last couple of years, there have been zero offers on this thing. No clear indications of just what collectors would be willing to pay for this legendary skin. Or at least there wasn't, until about a week ago. And that's when things got a little bit crazy. Now, this video is sponsored by Skinport, the easy to use skins marketplace where you can sell your skins for real cash. Skinport offers a huge range of skins, over 160,000 of them, at prices miles cheaper than the Steam market, as much as 30% off. You can also purchase skins in an instant, just pick the skin you want and buy it. There's no need to deposit first and no hidden fees. Oh, and if you're selling, Skinport has a super low selling fee of just 6% for items over $1,000 and for private listings, making it an awesome marketplace to sell on. Cash out is super quick and handled by bank transfer, and it's also super highly rated on Trustpilot with a 4.9 out of five star rating. So an awesome place to buy and sell skins. Check it out, link is in the description. So to understand this whole story, you need to understand a little bit about who New Bridge is. I've discussed his history in videos before, Basically, he was a big trader and better during the CSGO lounge era of CSGO, very good at it. He bought this blue gym in 2016 for $120,000, but after the first wave of gambling bans in 2016, he seems to have gradually wound down his presence on the internet, ultimately deleting most public information about himself. However, one thing I do want to emphasize about Newbrage is that he is not some Arab prince like HFB and Stack. He's just an ordinary dude, a very smart, ordinary dude who's done very well for himself, but still just an ordinary dude. And this is where we come back to his Karambit. Over the last two years, as Cisco prices have gotten higher and higher, no one was able to say for sure what price this thing was actually worth, because no one could get in touch with Mute Rage and make him an offer. Now, there was not much doubt this was the most expensive skin in CSGO. It was the one of a kind, holy grail. Everyone was certain about that, but no one was certain how expensive it actually was. Estimates started off at 200,000, then they got to 400,000, then 750,000, then 1 million, and then finally, just a week ago, we got a solid figure. An anonymous but verified trader approached one of the few people who had New Brage added, a streamer called Onopixel, and asked him to pass an offer onto New Brage, an offer for 1.2 million euros. Now, I'll link Honor's full video on it if you wanna watch it, it's only a minute long, I recommend it, but long story short, New Brage gave him a response. It was brief, it was blunt, and it was a no. But not because he didn't wanna sell it, it was just because he thought the offer was low. That's right, 1.2 million euros was not enough for this guy. Over a 90% profit, more money than most people make in 20 years of working was not enough for New Brage. And honestly, I think he's kind of right. And the fact that this has all happened is kind of a big deal anyway. So first of all, as I said at the start, Newbrage is not some Enrati prince who doesn't care about the money. He's some ordinary dude, and he's always been somewhat open to selling the skin. In fact, back in 2016, he wrote in his profile that he wouldn't seriously consider any offers under $150,000. So he was clearly considering selling it, and looking back at it, it seems pretty lucky that he didn't. And he's also, Definitely tuned into the CSGO market, at least in some respects. Metalcat's comments indicate he's been talking to at least some traders, and he recently registered the Crambit on Float.db, which suggests he may have installed the Float.db extension. He's not some guy who doesn't give a shit. And it's why it's a pretty big deal that he turned it down. You see, one of the big questions for a lot of traders in CSGO is just how high skin prices can get. They've been going up and up and up over the last few years, and the reality is that at some point along the line, they have to reach their peak. It's just a question of when. Now, a lot of this stuff can be a matter of perspective. Once upon a time, $2,000 for a Titan Holler or a Dragon Law was considered insane. Now, it's considered a bargain. And 
as prices get higher and higher, today's prices could easily end up looking like bargains as well. Again, it's all about perspective. And recently, those perspectives have kind of been changing a little bit. You see, with the rise of NFTs and the kind of crazy price tags attached to them, there's been a bit of a change in perspective about just where prices could actually get to. And what we're seeing here with this offer is probably the first part of that saga playing out. Not only is it the first time we've seen a clear offer of over $1 million for a skin, but the owner, who's likely extremely tuned into cryptocurrency in his own right, has made it clear he thinks the price is only going to go higher. And given the situation we're in at the moment, he's almost certainly right. By holding it for even longer, he's likely to make even more profit when he finally sells. And in turn, the bigger that price is, the more publicity it's gonna get for CSGO skins. When it finally sells, it will be a massive event. And the hype it generates may just end up pushing the price of skins as a whole higher and higher as well. Things look like we're about to enter into a newer and even nuttier phase than ever before, which is why Newbridge turned down this offer. It's a pretty big deal for CSGO and only time will truly tell just how crazy it ends up getting. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Massively appreciated. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.